Hello, my name is Stephen Ward, and I'm fixing to explain something here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's an N right there showing this is the North Pole, and there's an S right there showing this is the South Pole. And this is the same thing on the other end, another magnet, permanent magnet. Now, the, what I'm trying to point out here is, in a sense, this is a replica of the planet, because there's a pole on each end, right? I mean, in the far-fetched kind of way, you could see that as a replica of the planet, because, like I said, there's a pole on each end. Now, in such a small scale, you got to think about this. Now, this right here, this material, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that it'll speed up. Watch. Let it get going. And then we'll go from there. Let's see. Uh, according to this, we're running about, but it's still going. Let it level off over there with, that, with the draw and the amperage. About 0 0.99 amps. It's turning about 1802, 1803. All right, now I'm on. Make it speed up. There's 1813, 14, 16. It's still speeding up. And the amperage goes down. So, what I'm trying to point out is. This material is speeding up as it passes by the two poles on a magnet. If we make a spacecraft out of that material, guess what? We're coming to both poles, going away from both poles for that to speed up. And it's got force because look, it's got a 20 pound counterweight on there that's speeding up. Now I'm gonna show you something else so you can see. 